This tutorial demonstrates how to create color, chart, dot density, 3D, and size thematic maps. Thematic maps illustrate the characteristics of map features according to values in one or more data fields. First, make the layer to which you want to add the theme the working layer by right-clicking on it in the Display Manager and choosing Make Working Layer, or by choosing it from the drop-down list on the standard toolbar. To add a color theme to the layer, click the Color Theme Map Wizard button. Choose the field that contains the data you want to map, in this case I'll choose Total Sales, and click OK. Maptitude creates a color theme based on the total sales values and applies it to the map. Now you can clearly see which territories have the highest and lowest sales. There are many ways that you can customize a color theme. For example, you could change the method for creating the classes, change the number of classes, or even specify the exact values of the classes by clicking Customize and entering the low and high values for each class. Or in this case, I'll use the Step method, change the initial value to 4 million, and create steps at $1 million intervals. I only need seven classes for my data, so I'll change the number of classes to seven. You can also customize the colors. Click the Styles tab, and click Previous or Next to change the color ramp. You can also choose Start and End colors from the drop-down lists. You can see now that the map used the color ramp that I chose, and the classes are at equal $1 million intervals. To create a chart theme, click the Chart Theme Map Wizard. Choose one or more fields to include in the charts. For example, I'll choose the four quarterly sales fields, and choose the type of chart in other settings. Just like with color themes, you can customize a chart theme. In this case, let's make the width a little wider, and click OK. Now you can clearly see how the quarterly sales vary in each territory. Sales increase steadily here, stayed relatively flat here, and decreased a little in this territory. To create a 3D theme, click the 3D Theme Map Wizard button. Choose the field on which to base the heights. Your 3D theme will also include a color theme to further highlight the height differences. If you want, you can choose a different field for the color theme, or choose none to use the same field. Choose whether to use all features in the layer or just the visible ones, and optionally add a header or footer. On the Options tab, you can choose the angles at which to view the theme, choose whether to show the chart axis, and choose whether or not to use logarithmic scaling. On the Styles tab, you can choose the color ramp, again by clicking Next or Previous until you find one that you like. Maptitude displays the 3D theme in a separate figure window and displays the 3D controls. You can use the spinners to change the viewing angles, the height, or the scale. You can also use the tools to make changes to the 3D theme. For instance, I can zoom in and zoom out with this tool, and I can rotate the map with this one. Now let's go back to the original map. I'm going to hide the territory layer, and turn on the county layer to demonstrate dot density and size themes. I'll make the county layer the working layer, this time by right-clicking on it and choosing Make Working Layer, and click the Dot Density Theme Map Wizard. Choose one or more fields and click OK. You can filter the list here. For example, I'm going to type Occupied, and then choose the Owner and Renter Occupied fields. Maptitude adds the theme to the map, and in this case, each blue dot represents 20,000 renter occupied housing units, and each red dot represents 20,000 owner occupied housing units. Areas with many housing units have more dots. You can also customize a dot density theme. For example, you can change the value here to have more or fewer dots. and you can change the style of the dots here. I'm going to open the Dot Density Map Wizard one more time and click Remove to remove the theme from the map. 
and finally create a size theme by clicking the Size Theme Map Wizard button. Choose the field to use for the theme. For point layers, the icon will vary in size. For line layers, the line width will vary in size. In this case, since the theme is on an area layer, you can also click the Style tab to choose an icon and color to use for the theme. I'll go ahead and click OK to use the defaults. Again, let's customize this theme a little. Let's change the smallest value size to 2 points and the largest value size to 50 points. And now our size theme is a little easier to read and you can clearly see which counties have the highest populations. And that wraps up this tutorial on Map to Dude Themes.